వెల్కమ్ టు లైవ్ టు ప్లేస్ డాట్ కామ్ బెస్ట్ ఈ లర్నింగ్ పోర్టల్ ఫర్ ఐఐటి జేఈ నీట్ అండ్ ఫౌండేషన్ హ్యావ్ యూ ఎవర్ ఇమేజన్ హౌ డ్రైడ్ గ్రేవ్స్ గెట్ సోల్ ఎన్ వెన్ దే ఆర్ పుట్ ఇన్ వాటర్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ డ్యూ టు ఆస్మోసిస్ ప్రాసెస్ ఆస్మోసిస్ ఈజ్ ఎ ప్రాసెస్ ఇన్ విచ్ సాల్వెంట్ ఫ్లోజ్ స్పాంటేనియస్లీ ఫ్రమ్ డైల్యూట్ సొల్యూషన్ ఇన్ టు ద కన్సన్ట్రేటెడ్ సొల్యూషన్ త్రూ ఎ సెమీ పర్మియబుల్ మెంబ్రెన్ సెమీ పర్మియబుల్ మెంబ్రెన్ ఈజ్ ఎ మెంబ్రెన్ విచ్ ఎలౌజ్ ద ప్యాసేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఓన్లీ సాల్వెంట్ పార్టికల్స్ నాట్ సల్యూట్ పార్టికల్స్ బికాజ్ ఇన్ ఆస్మోసిస్ ద ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఫ్రమ్ లో కాన్సన్ట్రేటెడ్ ఏరియా టు హై కాన్సన్ట్రేటెడ్ ఏరియా This is how liquid water enters into dried grapes and they get swollen. The osmotic process is just opposite to the process of diffusion. In diffusion, the flow of molecules takes place from higher concentrated area to lower concentrated area. For example, diffusion of heme. I hope the process of osmosis is clear. Now let me discuss osmotic pressure. In simple term, Osmotic pressure is the pressure required to stop osmosis process. It means that osmotic pressure stops the flow of molecules from solvent to solution through semi-permeable membrane. Or in other terms, we can also say that osmotic pressure is the minimum pressure required to be applied to a solution to stop the inward flow of solvent across a semi-permeable membrane. Well, there are some natural semi-permeable membrane such as egg membrane, goat's bladders, cell membrane, etc. The artificial semi-permeable membrane are copper ferrocyanide, cellophane, parchment papers, and a warm mixture of gelatin and glycerin, etc. Practically, there are two phases in the system. One is solvent phase and another is solution phase. At equilibrium, the height of the solute in the tube on the right side is greater than that of the pure solvent in the left tube by edge. The excess hydrostatic pressure is called the osmotic pressure. Thus the osmotic pressure of a solution is the excess pressure to be applied to a solution to stop the passage of solvent molecules through semi-permeable membrane into the solution. Well, Osmotic pressure can be expressed by the formula pi is equal to h dot d dot g, where h is the increase in level in the tube of unit cross section area, d is the density and g is the gravity. Well, there are various methods used to measure osmotic pressure, such as Pfeffer's method, Berkeley-Hartley's method, d rise plasmolytic method, Morse fraser method, to a sense reverse osmotic method. Out of these methods, Berkeley Hartley method is the most suitable method to measure osmotic pressure quickly and accurately. Osmotic pressure is a one of colligative property as it depends on the number of solute molecules not on their identity, size and shape. For dilute solutions, osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the molarity of the solution at a given temperature. Thus the formula of osmotic pressure for dilute solutions can be given pi is equal to mrt where m is molarity r is a gas constant and t is temperature the formula can also be written as pi is equal to w to rt upon m to v or m2 is equal to w to rt upon pi v where w2 and m2 are the mass and molar mass of solute respectively v is the volume of solution this formula can also be used to calculate the molar mass of solute particles in the solution this method is widely used to calculate the molar mass of proteins polymers and other macromolecules now let me discuss a numerical problem to calculate the osmotic pressure this is the formula of osmotic pressure is given pi is equal to mrt and is equal to w2rt upon m2v in which r value is to be used 0.0821 liter atm per mole k temperature is to be used in kelvin and so volume is to be used in liters the problem says that a solution of sucrose which molar mass is 342 gram per mole is prepared by dissolving 68.4 gram of it in 5 liter of the solution question says that calculate its osmotic pressure we it means that we are going to calculate pi at 25 degrees c this is the temperature given well the formula of osmotic pressure is pi is equal to mrt 
m r t where m is the molarity then we need to calculate molarity we know that molarity is moles per liter moles per liter then we need to calculate moles we can divide mass by molar mass here we have mass is 68.68.4 gram and molar mass is 342 gram per mole gram gram will cancel out and small will go up you can divide these values and the value which you will get that is 0 0.20 and it is moles volume is given 5 liters now we can divide moles by volume here we have 0 0.20 and so divided by 5 here we get you can divide these values the value which you will get 0 0.04 and it is moles per liter now we can plug in the values r value is a constant and t is temperature here we have temperature in degree c but in the formula we use in kelvin that's why we can do the conversion t is equal to here we have 25 and so we can add 273 and so we can add up these values we get 298k now let's plug in the values here we have pi that is osmotic pressure is equal to m m value is uh, is 0.04 it is mole per liter multiplied by r r value is 0 0.0821 and so it is liters atm per mole k mole k multiplied by temperature here we have temperature 298k 298k kelvin kelvin will cancel out mole mole will cancel out liter liter will cancel out and the only unit which is left that is atm that is atmospheric pressure now we can do the calculation you can multiply these three values at the top the value which you will get that is 0 0.979 and unit is atmospheric pressure this is the osmotic pressure at 25 degrees c in the next problem i will discuss how to calculate molar mass by using osmotic pressure formula the problem says that a solution containing 4 gram of polyvinyl chloride polymers in 1 liter of dioxane was found to have an osmotic pressure of 4.1 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 it means that pi value is given that is osmotic pressure at 27 degrees C this is temperature is given the question says that calculate the approximate molecular weight means we have to calculate m2 value that is molecular weight of the polymers well we apply the formula here we have 4 gram that is the mass of polymer it means that w2 value is given and so this is the volume in liter let's plug in the value pi is equal to w2 rt upon m2 v formula is to be used pi value is given that is 4.1 let me mention 4.1 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and its unit is atm is equal to w2 w2 value is 4 gram here we have 4 gram multiplied by r r is a constant value here we have 0 0.0821 and it is liters atm upon mole k here we have and multiplied by temperature temperature is temperature is 2 2070 degrees c temperature is 27 degrees C and so since we use temperature in Kelvin in the formula that's why we can do the conversion here we have 27 and so plus we add 273 here we get 300 Kelvin I plug in this value 300 Kelvin at the bottom we have M2 this is what we are going to calculate M2 molecular weight multiplied by volume volume is 1 liter here we have 1 liter let's cancel the same units atm atm will cancel out liter liter will cancel out kelvin kelvin will cancel out and in this entire expression you can see that gram per mole is the unit left that is going to be the unit of molecular weight now we can do the cross multiplication as a result here we get m2 
is equal to at the top we have 4 multiplied by 0 0.0821 and multiplied by here we have 300 and at the bottom this this value will come down 4.1 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and 1 liter here we have multiplied by 1 we can multiply 4 3 is at 12 here we get 1200 multiplied by 0 0.0821 and see so here we get 4.1 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4. Now you can multiply these values at the top. And so the value which we get that is 98.52. And at the bottom we have 4.1 multiplied by it is 4.1 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 4. You can divide this 98.52 by 4.1. The value which you will get that is 24 24.03 and so it is negative exponents when it goes up we get positive exponent 10 to power 4 and so it can also be written as 2.40 multiplied by 10 to power 5 and the unit is gram per mole this is the molecular weight of the polymer you can see that how I calculated m2 value by using osmotic pressure formula if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on facebook and twitter to sharpen your skills please try out our test series on livetotalage.com thank you so much for watching have a great day